So they say that um, fit is the new sexy, um, and that's become a rallying cry among women who want to achieve good health by being fit and having a great looking body to boot. And that's a byproduct of that wellness journey, of course. Um, and we want to have holistic wellness. Now, the female bodybuilders creating an ideal physique, um, being fit and strong, well, it's what their sport is all about. And Cape Town has two very exciting young athletes dominating in this arena. So with winter fast approaching, it becomes very difficult for many of us to stick to our goals, specifically when it comes to training and nutrition. But not for these two ladies behind me, because the gym is like their second home. Narissa Ventura and Roxanne McLaughlin, they are two local professional bodybuilders, and I'm spending some time with them to find out exactly what it takes to be a professional bodybuilder just before they jet off to the UK to represent our country. Roxanne and Narissa were both fitness focused at school. Roxanne was a track athlete and Narissa a dancer and they found bodybuilding as a new sport in adulthood. Thank you very much for allowing me into your personal space, the gym environment. I'm so keen to learn a little bit more about the world of female bodybuilding. Let's talk about training because I know that's a big part of what you guys do. What does your training routines look like, especially when you're in season? We're going to gym seven days a week. Our training differs slightly. She's got a little bit of a faster metabolism than what I do, so she's, she's lucky in that regard. I've got to do cardio in the morning, so I'm up about 4.30 in the morning to be at the gym by five. I do my 42 hour cardio. Closer to the show, it gets a bit more intense, so you've got to keep your, your, your intensity quite high. I do my normal day schedule, I'm at work, and then back in the gym in the evening about half past six. Um, train for about another hour and a half or so. And then again, another 30 minutes of cardio. Diet, once again, plays a very, very big role into achieving your goals as a female bodybuilder. So what is it? What does it look like specifically gearing up for a competition? Yeah. We don't say diet, we call it a healthy eating plan. <laughs> so, because uh, it's a lifestyle that we have adapted to. At the moment, it's, um, it consists of clean eating. So, you know, no dairies, um, no, like, no yogurt, milk, anything, all of those things are cut out. Clean eating, I love that. Sounds like my type of living, low carbs, high protein. The ladies will be representing South Africa in Birmingham at Body Power 2017, the biggest indoor fitness expo in the world. All right, so here we are in the studio. I would love to see the type of poses that you do. So run me through, how does it work once you get on stage? I mean, what is it like? How do you go about really showcasing the best, I guess, angle of yourself? Once you're on stage and, and you've, you're standing in your line, um, you have an MC who guides you through your posing. They will tell you, quarter turn to the right, face the rear of the stage, put your heels together, that showcases your back. And then you'll tell you, quarter turn to the right again to show off a side pose and then um, again, to the relaxed position. Basically boils down to judges basically critiquing your physique and all you can actually think about is smiling yeah. and um, <laughs> just holding the pose for as long as you can. Sculpting these amazing physiques requires great discipline and dedication and we wish Roxanne and Narissa all the best as they proudly fly our flag high in competition. Man, Man ladies, I am well out of breath. You know what, this is, this is completely different to the type of training that I'm doing at the moment, which is geared towards boxing training, very high cardiovascular training, but I'm still out of breath, even though we're slowing down this movement. That was tough. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> there are around 30 provincial bodybuilding competitions per year and three national shows, with more local athletes competing internationally each year. I'm expecting to win. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm very excited to go. Um, it will definitely be an experience of a lifetime as I've never been to the UK before. Also, meeting pro athletes. And um, yeah, so exciting. These formidable women were introduced to bodybuilding by their boyfriends. It's a form of fitness competition that's growing rapidly among women and requires a challenging training regime. 